Hi, my name is Andy Kong. In this video, I'm going to be telling you about my many failed attempts to make a cheap parabola uh, for little to no effort. As you may recall from high school geometry, parabola is a curve defined by y equals x squared, or the quadratic term is somewhere else. I always found this shape interesting because it has this thing called the lattice rectum in the middle, sort of like how our bottom is in our middle. Um, anyway, uh, so a paraboloid is the 3D version of the parabola. It's just a parabola that rotates around you know, the, the z-axis. Now if you construct a mirror out of this shape, you'll see that um, all the rays that come in at a perpendicular are focused to this one point called the focus. It's labeled with F in this photo. This allows you to do cool stuff like point it at the sun and then burn a piece of wood or newspaper. Also useful for uh, satellite dish TV technology, which was popular, you know, like 10 years ago. However, pretty much the only profitable uses were channeling TV signals or, you know, scanning for military satellites. There's not really many consumer products you can sort of cannibalize to find these mirrors. And if you look on Amazon, they're mainly sold for scientific experiment purposes, so they're kind of expensive. There's a few YouTube channels which try to document methods to do it. Uh, the first is from Green Power Science, and they assume you have a satellite dish, which um, since this video was made 10 years ago, maybe they had a satellite dish, but those no longer are readily available. The second video is from Nighthawk and Light, who's a pretty legit science YouTuber, um, and he creates a method out of uh, space blankets, but it requires making like this large structure. I don't own a garage, so this is kind of hard. Anyway, so the way I saw it, you sort of had two approaches. One, you could create this backing and then attach a mirror to it. Or two, you could just create a parabola directly out of the mirror substance. So here's uh, what I came up with. Uh, the first one was space blankets. So I was going to buy these space blankets sort of like Nighthawk and Light was suggesting, um, and I was going to tile them on the inside of an umbrella. This idea relied on the umbrella being parabolic, which it maybe is? I, I don't know. Um, and while it did not work, it was very fun. So with the first idea out, we went to the second one, which was to take CDs and attach them to some kind of backboard and then like tape them in a relatively parabolic shape. You can run the numbers for a CD. It's actually a pretty good reflector, especially if you tile it properly. Um, you can do the area calculation. You see it covers like 90%. Um, and then you do the, the packing efficiency, which is 90%, and you end up with like 80%. So it's not bad. Anyway, so we found a stack of CDs, and we found a surfboard, which we used as our flat surface. You stick some tape on the back of the CD, uh, and then you stick it on the surfboard. And then you sort of point all the reflections at the same spot. Uh, by adjusting the tape, you can get them all to line up and approximately the same area. Now, and here's what it looks like when it's focused. Um, and since it's on this handy backboard, you can just maneuver the backboard around without worrying about the things getting twisted. And here's the final result. Uh, you'll notice that the circles are not particularly well overlapping. This is partially because the CD's reflected area themselves is flat and the CD's are relatively large, um, but also because we were sort of lazy in how tight we wanted the spot to get. It was also difficult to maneuver the duct tape backing because, you know, it's sort of sticky. You also notice that the shape of the, the focus point changes, which makes sense because the rays are no longer coming in as a perpendicular. While the focus is definitely hotter than usual, it is not hot enough to burn you. And so though it is beautiful, uh, we're moving on to the third thing. So the last thing I tried was actually the most mathematically interesting. Uh, we wanted to take a flexible mirror um, and shape it into a parabola somehow. This is sort of like how you can make a cone out of any flat circle. You just cut the triangle out of it and then, you know, tape it up. You should be able to do a similar thing um, to a parabola. You, sh you should be able to form like a shape by cutting out something, maybe not a triangle, but a different shape. It's actually a really fun 3D calculus geometry problem, uh, which was solved in 1978 by these nice people, which I will link their paper in the description. Um, but I decided to try it with this one-way mirror film that you're supposed to stick on your windows. It's supposed to help with like glare or tint or something, but it is reflective on one side. Uh, honestly, I try this problem every like two or three months or so because I think it's so interesting and it seems like pretty solvable. Um, you can start with a cone and you do like the derivation for what height everything's going to be at and whether it matches like you know the linear relationship of a cone size to its height and then you start doing the parabola and you have to do all these calculus and you do this arctan integration for the the side length and all this stuff and it just gets way too complicated way too fast and you know if you want to try the derivation you're welcome to try it. it's a really fun problem i just haven't been able to solve it but here we are back to the beginning zero for three yeah this is not my finest project but i guess that it just takes a lot of effort after failing these three uh, i tried again with nighthawk and lights version where you inflate like a solar blanket 
and that sort of worked but really the, the focal point is pretty wide and it's about as powerful as the CD parabola which was not very I guess nothing hard is free well on that note I'll leave you with this image and thanks for watching stay safe see ya